The quote tab on MetaTrader 4 is a space that shows you the currency pairs or the instruments that you want to trade. It shows you the bid price and the ask price of the instruments that you want to trade. So it is a very important tab on MetaTrader 4. In the advanced mode of the quote tab, like what we're seeing here, it shows you the highest price that the market has attained within this time period or within the day and the lowest price it has attained within the day this second column shows you the bid price which is the price that you as a trader you're willing to sell a particular currency pair and this last column shows you the ask price which is the price that you are willing to buy this currency pair. And the difference between the ask price and the bid price is what we call the spread. And when you use the advanced view of the quote, as we are using right now, the spread is calculated. It's showing you right here underneath the currency pair. And this spread you're seeing as 14 means 1.4 pip because the last digit of this currency quotes that we're seeing here this bid price and ask price is in pipette which is one tenth of a p that is why it is written as a superscript just a tiny number over there so the spread of euro usd here is 1.5 pips and for gbp usd the spread is 2.1 pips for gold the spread is 3.5 pips that is the difference between the ask and the bid price you can have those quotes both in simple mode and in advanced mode if you want to do that you press on the quotes and click on simple view so here we just have a simple view now when you open your metatrader 4 app and you find out that most of the currencies that you want to trade are not in the quotes what do you do you can add up any other currency pair that you want to trade so all you need to do is come to this very plus button click on it so when you click on it you come to forex majors then you select the ones you want to add once you add them up it disappears from this folder i keep adding it keep disappearing so anyone i want to select and add there i may just add them all up okay so these are the majors if i want to add every one of them i can add all and then my major folder is now empty nothing else is there so let's see you can see that it has been populated the last that we have in here is Euro CHF. Okay, if you still want to add more instruments, you come to the plus button again, go to Forex Minus, and then select the ones you want to add. And as you add, they disappear from the folder. You keep adding. You keep adding, selecting any one you want to add, and add them into the quotes. can see i've added all these ones these are all new ones that i've just added so this is how you fill up your currency quotes so if you still want to add maybe things like a gold uh, gold is already there but you can still add silver if you want to add silver you can add silver you can also add things like cryptos if you want to trade cryptos uh, energy here if you want to trade energy you can trade add the brand crude so all these ones just show you what you can add up these are shares good features uh cryptos if you want to add cryptos you can come down to cryptos and you choose the crypto that you want to add maybe bitcoin you can add anything you want into your meta quotes so just decide Wherever you want to trade and keep adding them there, this is the crypto that you've just added. So if you also want to remove anything you've put into those quotes, which you feel you don't um, 
need you can just come to this pen button and then delete so you select whatever you want to delete maybe i want to remove the silver it's gone so silver is no longer there if i want to rearrange all these things i can rearrange it by clicking on this button again and choosing to bring up or to bring down each one maybe i want to bring up this usd card to come after gbp usd that i have done so here we have our put tab populated with all the currency pairs that we may be able to trade i hope with this you can populate your quote tab very easily thank you for watching